All right, let's go over one more, one more thing here. We we said that the the true function of y, the true function of y is equal to an actual function of the observation x plus some epsilon error, and the estimated function is y hat is equal to some function estimate of the actual observation. And uh, before I put plus epsilon, but really you don't need to put that because the error is actually, even though it's irreducible, um, we don't need to put that in for the estimated function. So keep it as that. Now what happens is the goal is to reduce the amount of error completely. So if I know that this epsilon is part of the error no matter what, so you only have to include it once. So it doesn't really matter if I include it here. And then when I add these together, which I'll do in a second, you'll have two epsilon because E plus E is two E, but epsilon is arbitrary. So whatever that number is, it can factor into two and it can be just half. So it doesn't matter if you have it twice or not. So let's just cross those out, not include it to make things more simple. So what I'm trying to get at is what I want to reduce is the error. So I have an actual true death rate right here and I have an estimated. So to minimize the error, if I subtracted the true one from the estimate and I square that difference, I want to get that as close to zero as possible, right? So let's just subtract the top one from the bottom one. So we have Y, so the true death rate minus the estimated death rate, right? And we wanna square it because we wanna make sure that negatives are not involved. So we'll just put this in parentheses and square it. And we're gonna set that equal to, because we're just adding two functions, we're allowed to do that. So we have f of x and f estimate of x, and we have an epsilon. So we have, and we wanna square this too, we wanna to subtract them, I'm subtracting them, so put it in all parentheses. f of x, the true function, reality that we'll never get to, plus some epsilon, plus the f estimate of the x observation, and we'll square that as well. So the goal is to make sure whatever this answer is, so we have, um, think about it though, this is the number of cases plus some error rate. Uh, I'm sorry, that's a subtraction sign right here. Minus this, so you wanna get this relatively close to zero. And same thing with this, we want the death rate to be close to zero. So how do we minimize the death rate? So, so you wanna minimize the death rate or minimize the error in the y predicted value. So how do we do that? And that's what we're gonna talk about in the next few lessons. But I wanted you to see this type of formulation so that you can um, make more sense of it as we go throughout these lessons. So the ultimate goal, the ultimate goal is to minimize this death rate here or minimize the error here. We want this to be as close as zero. So minimum is zero. So the minimum of the actual rate minus the estimated rate is what we're going for, squared. So that's the best we can get. If this is 0 0.0001, that's pretty good, but 0 0.00001 is better. So that's the whole goal. We'll never probably get to zero unless it's a fake function or a uh, made up function. Now real life, you'll, it's very difficult to get to zero because they just don't occur in nature.